I read with some interest that there is quotas. There has got to be a quota these days. If your institution doesn't have a quota, you're a frothing racist organisation, let me tell you that much. But the Met apparently set a quota of 40% of its officers, its recruits, being from the black and ethnic minority communities by 2023. It's 2023. Supposedly, only 17% are now BAME. Why on earth does the Met Police have to be looking at 40%, nearly half of its recruits coming from black and ethnic minority communities, if indeed it does mean you end up recruiting some people who can't speak English? I think it comes back to, it comes back to again, there are say, some politicians, people in society saying that the, the police should be more representative of the community they serve. And I understand that. That, 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 should, that should happen. But by the same token, you need to recruit the right people, not just hit boxes and tick boxes and hit targets. And this is where the targets take over, actual recruiting. So there'll be, there'll be cases of people actually applying to be a police officer and being pushed aside because they don't quite fit a particular box. Because when you have targets like this, not just in the Met, but across all police forces, they've all got targets at the moment. They've all got targets to hit, and it's well, been set by down set people in government, uh, and then they're recruiting people just to meet the target, as opposed with, to people, with, that, people that with un respect, understand. Graham, with, with respect, Graham, I think the British public do care about targets. They care about targets when it comes to how many convictions mm -hmm. have we got, how many people are actually being sent to prison for rape. I mean, those figures are shocking, the amount of charges that are being brought. Mm -hmm. How fast are the police officers there on scene at a stabbing? Can we stop stabbings, for example? I mean, you take your pick. People want to see that. What people, I dare say, don't want to see is police officers taking the knee outside Downing Street. I don't think people want to see police officers doing the Macarena at an LGBTQ plus march. I certainly don't want to see, and I'm reading a headline now, so anyone who says I'm making this up, I'm not, about a new police recruit bringing in a giant eight-inch snail with him to work to calm his nerves. Unfortunately, the snail died. So, you know, may he rest in peace and all of that stuff. I imagine his nerves were, were shot after that. But are we just missing out the right kind of targets, which is solving crime at the expense of hitting diversity quotas? Yeah, possibly. But again, it comes down to recruitment and vetting. I know about the snail story. I've heard, I've heard it, two versions of that. One was in London, one was in the Midlands somewhere. And yeah. that, that particular individual didn't actually go on to join the police. They were actually dealt with by the recruitment team or the training team and, and resigned their, their, their post. But it comes down to recruitment and vetting. And if you set targets for recruitment, uh, either departments or external partners, they're going to hit their targets because that's what they're based on. So they will recruit people, come what may. It's then down to, dare I say it, when the police get them, either identify that they're not suitable and, and actively getting rid of them or identifying when they first apply. So it comes down to, again, recruitment and vetting which we keep talking about in policing.